Welcome to Electron Online. Now here we have a very interesting problem. We're trying to find the limit as x approaches infinity, but of the expression, the, the square root of x squared plus 1 minus x. The trick here is, and usually in math it's always about the trick, what is the trick to make this work or to change this in a format where you can't take the limit? Because if you take the limit now, what you get here is you get infinity squared take the square root of that, which is infinity, minus infinity. So what's infinity minus infinity? Well, that's undefined. So what we can do instead is we can go ahead and multiply this by something interesting. We're going to multiply this times the, what we call conjugate, the same expression but with a plus here instead of a minus here. We're going to, so multiply this times the square root of x squared plus 1 plus x. And of course, if we multiply that, with, if we multiply the numerator by that, we also have to multiply the denominator by the exact same thing. So we multiply this times the square root of x squared plus 1, and that would then, of course, be plus x. So as long as we multiply uh, in such a way that the numerator is exactly the same as the denominator, this is essentially multiplying times 1, so we do not change the value of the expression, but we do change it in such a way that we can plug in the limit. So let's go ahead and simplify this now and see what we get. So this would be equal to the limit as x approaches infinity. So now we're going to multiply this times this. So we multiply the square root of x squared plus 1 times the square root of x, per, x squared plus 1. That gets rid of the square root symbol. So that gives us x squared plus 1. So now because of the conjugate here, the middle term disappear. And now we multiply minus x times plus x. So we get minus x squared for the numerator, all divided by, and then in the denominator, we get the quantity, the square root of x squared plus 1 plus x like this. Now notice this is now a plus x instead of a minus x. So if we now plug in the limit, we don't subtract that infinity from infinity, but we add the two together. So now it actually works. In the numerator, let's see what we get when we simplify that. So we get the limit as x approaches infinity. So notice the x squares cancel out. So you end up with just a 1 in the numerator divided by the square root of x squared plus 1 and then plus x. Now let's go ahead and plug in the limit and see what we get. So this is equal to the numerator is simply a 1 divided by the square root of infinity squared plus 1 plus infinity. Simplifying that just a little bit, notice that infinity squared plus 1 is simply just infinity because, or infinity squared because plus 1 doesn't make any difference. So this is equal to 1 divided by the square root of infinity squared plus infinity. And finally, of course, taking the square root of infinity squared is simply infinity. So this is equal to 1 over infinity plus infinity. And since we have infinity in the denominator and 1 in the numerator, any number divided by infinity, that simply gives us 0. So the answer here is 0. When we take the limit, that expression becomes 0. And that's how we do that.